Simon here and in the last video we spoke about the number one frustration which was finding time to train or having things get in the way of your training that seemed to be the number one frustration for most people but one of the other frustrations that came up quite a bit was actually about recovery feeling like you're recovering from hard training managing the training so I wanted to share a few tips on that today that hopefully will help you with your recovery number one We've heard this time and time again, but are we doing it? Are we getting to sleep at an early enough hour? Are we staying consistent with our sleep patterns? This is important, guys. This is really important just to manage your overall stress level. So that's number one. Number two, remember, recovery should also include um, taking into consideration what are you doing outside of your cycling? Is your life very stressful? Do you stand all day at work? What, are, what else are you doing? Because sometimes those are impacting even more on the, your, your sense of feeling fresh and recovered than actually your cycling training. So take those into account, schedule more downtime if you have a very busy, busy work or life schedule and, and really take that into consideration when you evaluate how you're feeling each day. Some other tips on recovery are um, what I like to do when I'm done with a hard training session, I like to stretch for a few minutes, I'll put some compression socks or tights on and I'll also use sometimes a foam roller or a stick to loosen up my muscles. I find this is really good for recovery, but you do need to stay consistent with stretching and the foam roller. That's important because when you stay consistent, what you'll notice is that your muscles will actually get softer, they'll get more loose, more supple, and um, your muscles, you'll just feel better over time, but you have to be consistent to get to that point. The other thing you can do is if you've done a very hard training session, you're heading home, maybe stop at the store, get a couple of bags of ice, and especially after a long hard ride, and get in a cold bath and add some ice. This is going to really boost your recovery, You're going to help those tired muscles bounce back for the next day's training. So try that because definitely does work having that, that ice bath for 10 to 20 minutes. Um, besides that guys, another things you can do to make yourself feel better overall is having a, a just a routine each day um, you know for me it starts with I do some breathing exercises the Wim Hof breathing method I'll start my day with that I'll then do some meditation I like to do some med meditation some intentional setting for the day set an intention and that really resets me and helps me feel good and centered for the day and in the end of the day the routine that we have each day the habits that we have each day will determine how we feel each day and will also aid us in, in our recovery in general, just from our life and feeling our, our best, our optimal best. So that I think is the goal for each and every one of us. So hope you guys enjoyed those tips and uh, wishing you all the best with your cycling.